Now we got it. Sat out here for 10 minutes talking. Let's try this again, children. It always sucks when you find out people can't hear you. <laughs> it's the wonder of live streaming. Um, let me close out my other window here real quick now that I know everything's working. My mother's in the house. It's Diane Geiger that just posted. <coughs> Excuse me. If you don't know the story, I'll make it plain and simple. I was born a best back in 1966. Two years later, I was adopted by a wonderful gentleman by the name of Larry Geiger, who was married to my mother, Diane. And it was just recently, a few years back, I met my real father. And I decided, for my own sake, to take back my birth name. So that's why the difference in the names, and it's just one of those things. He says he still can't hear my audio, but I can. Uh, oh, that was Chris's previous comment. Okay. So we're back to basics. The reason I came out here, again, I've been talking for like 10 minutes. Nobody heard a word I said. And that's kind of expected sometimes. You never know what's going to happen. But what it comes down to is there's a lot of talk recently about what's going on over at Summit Live. And it's a small crowd of people over in L.A. who got together to talk about live streaming, which is normally, you know, something that it's a new thing. It's not a it's not something that's been gathered as an event too much over the last few years. This is something recent. Although live streaming has been around for like 10 years, it's not anything new. People have been using it in the gaming business for years, showing people how to, you know their game is run. There's a little guy down the corner streaming out that he's playing his video game. And you know the, the technology's been here for a while, but not a lot of people use it. The reason, like I said, I was speaking with no volume whatsoever. So you can see that this is... It's new to a lot of us, and it's not something that everyone pulls off very well. Like, I just did a terrible job of creating a live stream video broadcast for the people that watch Leland Best Live, because when I came out, I was screwing around my graphics, my graphics were flipping around, I had all kinds of things going on, my, my video was coming out great, but my audio wasn't tracked properly, and it, Chris Ripka made a perfect comment. We were online together last night, trying to get his audio to stop looping so that he was echoing like crazy. And I was playing around with my mixing board, showing him what to do. And of course, I left my settings in a certain position so that when I came out here, it wasn't working. So it's just one of those things that you never know what's going to happen. So I'm going to go over here and yeah, he's got audio, can't hear, still don't hear, switch the channel, good, there you are. Okay, I'm just making sure we've got everything here. So I'm going to add these to the queue so that you can see this. I want to clear most of this out because sometimes it fills up. Now I'm connected through vMix using a social package that captures your comments over there on Facebook so I don't have to sit on Facebook and watch and that's why I do this. Um, let me just change one thing here. So back to the story. Uh, basically what was going on was all these people supposedly got together. It was maybe 200. Okay. A lot of people who like to stream. A lot of people who like to communicate with live streaming. I don't think it was so much that it was just, and it was about meeting the people who you connect with regularly out here on live streaming. So it was kind of a gathering of souls rather than some big public event that was meant to target, you know, how you can use this stuff in business. Though there were speakers like Joel Kahn and several others who were out there talking about how live streaming can be used in business. I started at that approach when Jonathan and I started Blab Nation. We did a lot of talk about social media and business building and building your live stream audience and building community and things of that nature. Well, what happened was a lot of people started to do that. A lot of people started their own shows and a lot of people started interviewing other people. And, you know, this isn't anything unexpected because that's what marketers want to do they want to come out here they want to find the people who are relative to their niche they want to talk to people who are better at what they do uh, so that they can learn from them uh, everybody's always on a learning curve so people want to understand you know how to build a mailing list or how to broadcast out to twitter or you know how to get a sale on facebook there's all kinds of things out there that are available to learn and there's a lot of noise also. There's teachings from years ago that no longer work because of the algorithm changes. There are issues over 
whether live is better than repurposed video uh, and a lot of stuff like that. What we're finding is the noise is getting unfathomable. There's, well, I shouldn't even say it that way. Unbearable is more the word. There is so much of that comment that was made. Uh, Robert Hicks made a good point the other day. Marketers marketing to marketers. And I have to agree with him in part. I think sometimes business owners become their own marketers, obviously, where when they come out here to talk about business, they try to help people understand how their business is run and how they gather clients and how they build their, you know, their following. And it, it's not an easy task. It's something that you have to come out and do religiously, almost, or at least consistently. And Chris Ripka, the gentleman who just posted here recently, does a wonderful job of going live just about every day. My partner, Stephen Healy, on Across the Pond, out here live every day um, is he contributing to, or are they just contributing to the noise sometimes I'm not going to say because I don't watch their shows all the time to understand what value they're putting out into their streams and I say that reluctantly because when one live streams I think we hope and expect those that know us in live streaming are at some point or another going to see our shows well obviously it's impossible for 100 people to follow another 100 people every day five days a week or seven days a week and try to catch every show or every replay that's out there so if you're a live streamer and some of your favorites that you watch live stream don't show up on your live streams don't take it personally just understand that there is a lot going on and the other thing we forget sometimes is it is a bubble okay there is this small bubble that's taking place in live streaming a lot of people don't know about it yet a lot of people don't use it yet but there is a lot of live streamers streaming to other live streamers and they're not reaching outside that bubble to get to the people who really need to hear the message that they have and that's one of the beauties about live streaming is it does help a person bring their message to the table and put it wherever they want to put it so what i hope to do is change up my format a little bit i still do my show with stephen healy on tuesdays across the pond over on smile time it's it's fine but what we're discovering as live streamers what we've done primarily over the course of the last almost two years a year and a half now anyway for me back november 2015 though i've been streaming since like 2012 and before that in real video and audio production uh, back in my day and the, as a dj and such so this isn't the only avenue i have for broadcasting but it is um, part and parcel to what I do I want to get into podcasting I want to repurpose some of these live videos into podcasts uh, I want to run my business online a little bit show people how they can do a little eBay store of their own and create some income on the side um, but it's not as though that's my business model uh, my business model is running my eBay site and I don't feel that I need live streaming to do that I don't need to make sales on eBay via live streaming but I have some ideas that could be incorporated into that business model and not only that but it comes down to do you want to be salesy in a video and create your own commercials is that really all we want to do here do we want and then I apologize I'm still keeping an eye I'm still learning one technique <laughs> that is keep your eyes on the camera I gotta watch you people you guys are the ones I want to talk to, right? Um, a lot of times I find myself just being one of those that always keeps an eye on what's going on on the screen around me. So I tend to distract myself, and that's not a good thing when it comes to streaming out your to your followers. But I think people understand for the most part that it's not an easy task. A lot of people have to learn this um, and practice it over and over and over again to get it right. I've fortunately been in front of the camera a lot. I've been in front of... Uh, been on stage as a DJ a lot and been in public gatherings you know doing weddings and bar scenes and karaoke bars and things like that so it's pretty easy for me to just ad lib I get up here and I just talk I don't spend my time writing scripts I don't prepare and sometimes that shows um, sometimes when you do a show without a script if it's f a format of a show that should be scripted then that's one thing um, I've done the likes of the nothing show where it was just come on out and let's make something of it kind of thing uh, I love that, and I may bring that show back at some point, but it may come as a different title. Um, I know the Nothing show is kind of nothing, you know? I don't want to be remembered as nothing. I'd, I'd rather be remembered as something. Leland Best Live was just a brand I threw together because it was simple. It was easy. 
and kind of came with the domain name. <laughs> I'd say uh, that was another thing that came up today too. Was uh, talks about domain names and um, you know search it out, do your research before you go buying domain names for your business. Don't just jump on the first domain name that sounds good and uh, only to discover when you go out to Facebook and Twitter and all the other social accounts that you can't even open an account with that name because it's already taken. Uh, just one thing to keep in mind when you're developing your live stream business, if you want to call it that, or your live stream presence is really what I consider it for myself. It's just the ability to be there in the masses and be live and show who you are. So I don't come out here to be somebody I'm not. I come out here to be Leland Best live. And that's the reason for the hashtag real live matters. Um, let's try to make these live streams real rather than some kind of hokey pokey way to sell something to somebody. Um, but it's really not what we're about. And we are the pioneers of what's to come. When bandwidths grow and 5G comes out and we find that everybody's connected to gigabit internet, which is the thousand megabit internet, then you'll see some serious live streaming taking place. You'll see a lot of cool things happen. And as people learn the techniques of the trade, you know, there's all these sites out there that claim to help you get to Facebook Live and out to YouTube Live and these instant on click of the button things. They're nice to some extent. They do work sometimes and they can be fun. But what I think we've found the most um, disappointing about it is that they're not very reliable and they tend to fall apart while we're broadcasting you know it's just the way that like web rtc is still in its infancy rtmp which is real-time message protocoling or messaging protocol is the way that live streaming has been done for years which is what i'm actually doing right now on facebook i'm not going through one of the third-party sites i'm simply broadcasting through vmix into the back end of facebook out to my facebook fan page so that I have control of the stability. I don't have to worry about whether something's coming in or not going. So uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, Marion, thanks for the comments. And I apologize, I didn't have enough of these up here. Uh, for some reason, it's not turning them like I want to. I'm live right now, hon. What do you need? I've got somebody knocking at my door. You're going to be live if you come in here. What do you need? Must be my granddaughter. <laughs> she's three, and she's out there doing her thing. So, um, oh, there we go. Let's auto update. No wonder things weren't showing up. So I'm, I'm just screwing things up this morning, aren't I? I'm over here trying to get some people to show up on screen, and because of the way I've got it set up, nobody's showing up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send these out to the queue. We've had Marion out here talking to me ever since I got here. So uh, yeah, Chris. He says he drove the show into the dirt last night. And this was one that we'll send this out. This was Chris's comment just a moment ago. Um, he, I think he did figure out his looping. It was just that he was picking up his mics, uh, the mic on his webcam also, which was causing a loop back on everything that he was doing. So, uh, yeah, Chris, I help him whenever I can. That's the truth. Chris says I'm his tech guy and things work out. So, yeah, you did run shotgun, Marion. Is that Marion? Marion. I want to make sure I'm pronouncing that right. Can you tell me if I'm pronouncing that right? Um, if you're a live streamer and you're watching this right now, what I'm doing is trying to communicate with my audience, the people who are following me right now who have caught me on Leland Best Live. If you ignore your audience when you come out here, you're, not, you're doing an injustice to your show, if it is a show or even if you're just coming out here to talk to people. The big thing with streaming is you're making a connection you're letting people see who you are and if you don't uh, my mom had to go so she gave me a big love sorry I didn't get that on the screen mom but she had to take off so just wanted to share that with y'all I do love my mother and she's about an hour south of me here in Michigan uh, she's out probably running around to the airports picking up and dropping off people so um, let me just get a couple here Marion also says yes you did David Dave Daly, monster, motivator, moderator, and Chris. Yes, Dave Dave is awesome. Dave Daly is a character. If you have not seen Chris and Dave when they get together to do their thing, uh, make sure you catch Chris Ripka out at Raw and Real Live, which you can find on Smile Time or on his Facebook page. Uh, he's coming at you from Shotgun 7 Studios, is it? 
Did I get that right, Chris? Make sure I get that right. <laughs> I would hate to not get that right. So I just wanted to come out and say, you know, a, a big shout out to all the people who did make it to Summit Live. I hope they had a great time. I, I'm sure they are having fun. I'm sure that uh, the connections that have been made out there in California this week are going to be ones that could be friendships from here on out who knows um, you'll you'll know when you get into the right click where you're actually respected and appreciated and things like that and if you're not in that group if you're not somewhere where you feel connected and you're not just spewing stuff live so that people listen to you but there are actual reactions and responses to what you're saying and people that that verb that reverberates with them um, or resonates with them. I gotta use the right words sometimes. Then you found your your tribe, and that's where you want to hang out. That's those are the people you want to talk to. Saloon Seven Studios, yeah, shotgun. Maybe I'll do some shotgunning over here. <laughs> I don't have my shotgun anymore. Somebody stole my shotgun. Um, we'll get into those kind of things next time I come out. But you know, when it comes to producing a show, go all in. Don't try and go off half cocked it's if you're gonna get serious about a broadcast and you're going to do a show then you're gonna want to come out and literally make it a regular thing you're gonna want to come out here and set a day that you come out and broadcast whether it's Monday through Friday or Monday Wednesday Friday or one day a week it's just one of those things you have to know your audience so get to know your audience uh, if you don't if you don't know who you're broadcasting to uh, today I'm just broadcasting to the public to let them know I need to change things up a little bit I'm gonna get a little more serious when it comes to what I do and say in live streaming and how real live matters so let's keep doing real live let's not do fake news let's not do another boring interview let's not and I don't mean that in the wrong way there are a lot of people who do wonderful jobs in interviews but if you're not good at interviews if you cannot come up with the questions that warrant the responses that people want to hear try something else interviews aren't the only thing that happen in live streaming though that seems to be 90 percent of what's going on right now so what we're hoping to find is that there will be people who find new ways to live stream and make it matter that will come out here show who they really are give some insight into their own lives to others and be able to take this whole principle and process to the next level because if we continue to stay within this bubble and we just talk to each other back and forth about how we're live streaming and what we're doing and how to like uh, Robert Hicks made a perfect point about the whole how-to phenomenon going on right now it seems to be a regular thing where everybody comes out here and shows us how to do this you know how did we learn we came out here and we did it and we are that pioneering you know personality that comes out and does it first but we don't have jurisdiction or what's the word I'm looking for we don't have all the <laughs> we're not the only ones that can do that we're, we're Anyone can come out here and learn how to live stream with a couple pushes of a button because it is now so simple to do. Um, but we have to ask ourselves before we push that button, do we really have something to say? So that's all I got today. And hopefully moving forward, all the live streams that come out of BCB Live or out of Leland Best Live will be something worthwhile for all of my audience to participate in, uh, play around with, pass out, to their friends like share all that kind of stuff so that you know it makes a difference rather than just more noise take it easy everybody this has been Leland Best out at Leland Best Live I hope you have a wonderful day and Friday's coming up I know wikiki.party www.wikiki.party is supposedly the blab re it's going to be the reincarnation is what I hear Kiki Shear's got it going on and it's going to happen tomorrow so keep your eyes open. Make sure you head over there and see what's going on. And hopefully we'll catch you in the next live stream. And you can be part of that as we move ahead in 2017. Take care, everybody.